Three weeks ago today, five-year-old Ramon Burnett caught in the crossfire and killed in a shooting. Less than two weeks later, three-year-old Major Howard shot and killed while sitting in a car. The death shining light on violence spreading in our city, prompting this raid right here as police race to get fugitives and guns off of our streets and prompting us to ask if things are as bad as they feel. Investigator Jonathan Walsh picks up the story from there. Yeah, I've been pouring over details on murders committed in Cleveland since the 1970s. I've gathered information from the FBI and compared the number of murders to the population of Cleveland. And you might be surprised about what I uncovered. Let's start with my analysis of the 1970s. It was the most violent decade of my research where Cleveland saw an average murder rate of 39.5 per 100,000 people. That's a decade that saw more than 200 murders each year, and there were two years with more than 300 each year. In the 1980s, the average murder rate came out to 30.1. The most murders in that decade was 1980 with 265. The 1990s saw a further decline in the murder rate with the average at 25.2. The most murders that decade happened in 1991 with 175. But then we wanted to see what the average was for the most recent 10 years of data available. From 2004 to 2013, the average murder rate was 18.6, less than half of what it was in the 1970s. From the stats, it appears we are safer on our streets now when it comes to murder, but what about solving those murders? I'll have another interesting comparison, all new at 6. We'll see you then.